Art for me is not a noun, it's not a finished piece of perfect artwork that hangs in a museum, but rather it is, it's a verb on how I view, how I view life. First of all, I'm a painter, a sculptor, a photographer, a writer, um, anything that opens my eyes to being able to see life a little bit differently. I've not always been an artist. Uh, in fact, I just started painting for the very first time in my life just a couple of years ago. I knew it when I was a little kid, I knew as a little boy that I enjoyed painting and drawing and playing, but I was uh, unfortunately told flat out by one of my early school teachers that I actually was not a very good artist because I didn't color within the lines, because I, I didn't uh, you know, pay attention to detail. And so actually I quit. And in its place, I, um, I became pretty good at doing my homework. I became pretty good and operationally efficient on getting the grades that I was supposed to get. But along the way, I became almost a, a scholastic facade, a, a business person facade of who I really think was, was meant to be. And so it wasn't until uh, some very challenging things happened in my own life uh, that rocked the core of my foundation that I, uh, I actually lost everything. That was when I realized that I couldn't keep, uh, keep doing what I, had, what I had done. And so it was at that point I mercifully did not turn to an easy out, drugs or alcohol or uh, something else that would have been a fix. I actually at that point turned to art. Art was my my rehab to find my way again. I sadly could, could read off a laundry list of even close personal friends that have thrown their life away um, because what started off as uh, just trying a drug, just uh, having fun one night, ended up uh, absolutely consuming them and was far more powerful than they uh, or able to get control of and are now either um, living on the streets or not living at all. There's a, I would say, a lie or a deception that goes around, particularly in the artist community, that by, by taking drugs or by drinking that you're going to uh, let go of inhibitions and more easily be able to create or to come up with new ideas. But, uh, ultimately, those are actually inhibitors. We are passionate, lively human beings. Uh, that's the way we were designed, to be passionate, to be adventurous. If you are artificially sedated, you're not able to maximize that ability to live out your most adventurous life. As an artist, my homework, my lab work is I go see live music. So I, regardless of where I am in the world, I'll go see Katy Perry or Lady Gaga or Justin Timberlake or Jay-Z or Eminem. But I go because I want to experience them as an artist. How do they relate their craft? And then how and where do I generate new ideas? And so that's really, that's my form of school is going and attending and being a part of uh, live music. We have been taught to critically think, to solve math problems, to read in complete sentences, to find the noun, to find the verb. Uh, everything about our system has taught us to critically think. Uh, so I, I wrote a book called Unthink, which uh, almost reverts back to this idea that Albert Einstein said that imagination is more important than knowledge. So knowledge or critical thinking will get you from point A to point B, but imagination will get you everywhere. And that to me is so much more exciting than staying or painting within the lines. Once you get into that imaginative part of your mind uh, where you unleash or unlock your mind's capabilities is when I think life starts to be the most exciting. My name is Eric Wall. Art is my natural high. What's yours? <laughs>